Balita, Supreme Pupil Government, ginbagwa niya nga rin naging SELG na uh, Supreme Elementary Learner Government. So para i-welcome kamo yan na, ito na to, para yan nga afternoon nga meeting na to, yung pag-election na to, tatawagin ko ang ato yung mabaysay, nga district coordinator, Himang Ethel de la Cruz. So, kailangan mga president ina yan na amara ako president talaga. They are president but mag-election pa kita para division.
Kuasa ng mask day. Kuha tagal lang. Good afternoon, Mama and everyone. My name is Rizky Ace Perez. I'm 11 years old. From Barangay Mabini, Mayor Alayde. I am here as a president showing my confidence. Doing all of my best to be better as a president. I hope you vote me. Thank you very much. <laughs> You can nominate yourself. myself. Children. Sige. Yes, si Romy. Romy at ano? Okay. He nominated himself for president. Romy is being... Makausala susugad ha. Tagusala kita ka-count. Kinot naruyag ang Romy. Pagbutos! 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 Romy! Romy! Stand up! Romy! For president! Kinot na ruyag pagbutos! Oo, para dami, dami ang bubutos. Uy, ubus na lang. Mas kaparin kitang tatong kagwapo. Ayaw talaga niya. Ayaw talaga niya ma-expo. Another gandain. Hi, another day. Stand up, baby. Day! Usagi ha! Children, kailangan nyo talaga na bubutos ha! Di rin kayo nira na kalugarin ngunit mabutos si Tira Selgi ha! Bubutos ka mo! Nga tanay ka mo mabutos! Pero kung nagbutos ka mo... Kausa lang! Ayun na magbutos si Tiba! Ah, okay! Entindi? Kay... Di rin nyo pwede nga pumurula 1-1-1 at butos! Hindi na yun yung magdaog! Ang waray di da, mubutan. Ali pa, ano sa nabot niya? Nabot ka, kanres. Pahabol. Tari. Clint. Hi, Nick Clint. Ikaw, di ka mabot ustim siya. Okay. Alsa. Zero. 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 Kena nabot ustim, zero. Andrea. Ikaw, nalaki. Kusa. Di na po masigi, ihapon ko, pinahang lang katong singat ang ugnaw. Nagmasigi na, ito aray yung pumutos yan na, pinahang lang ninyo mag-desisyon. Desisyon. Ito yan ang desisyon. Pero ma'am, bulo ka ko ma. Ah, may isa waray ni Butar. Pili ang imuhang karuyag. Ini 
Si kayo nakakalam ha, kung ano yung, ano yung bumubukod ng bawat area. Kasi sabi ko Area 1, lahat ng mga municipality sa Andalang Area 1, meaning, merong representation. And then, merong municipality na may dalawa o tatlong districts. Di ba ba? So, like, palo. O is one palo? One, two. Ito ka mag-resting ha? At dalawa lang isa yung palo? Ano dito? Saan pa yung pangatlo ng district? Paano? Wala pa yata. Dalawa lang kayo nakita ko eh. So, palo, palo, ano sa Paluwan ka? Ano to? Okay. How about uh, Tanawan? Tanawan 1, 2. May 3 ba ang Tanawan? So, wala pang 3. How about Morning Man? So, this is the So, the now one and then the bad one. The bad one, the bad one. The one. The one. The one. The one. The one. one. The one. The one. The This way, may wala nang mention ng municipal. Anyway. So, uh, San Miguel? San Miguel. Uh, the one. Tapon, tapon? Ha? Oh, San Tope. San Tope. Six, six districts and we four. Five A. Seven. Five B. Okay, thank you, thank you. So, uh, I would like to believe that almost 100% is ready here. Doon tayo mga perfect din natin guys. At least, uh, more than majority of the districts, I mean, of the area, of the district, of the district, of the district area, ang mga representative. Uh, sige po, so. Uh, sige. Uh, sige. This time, I would like to request before we officially start, kung pwede po, yung mga nandito sa first three rows siguro, lahat po mga students lang po, or learners natin. Then, Isha Rachel, we'll sit at the back. Diyan ka lang. Ay, wala naman na kayo sa inyo mga nangyay sa tatat na yan. Please occupy the front 16. Sige, para you get to know each other and the rest of 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 the rest.
So thank you everyone. We will request everybody to please stand. Sit down. So, I'm sorry, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking for the key on this one. This is what I got from the and Operations Division. Unfortunately, Sister Hill is on travel right now. So, to give us the opening, to give us the opening remarks, let us. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome our OIC Chief, Dr. Raul A. Salani. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, especially to our school division superintendent, Mang Magal, the, the, the three, no? Yung tatlo ng mga facilitator ng YFD. Of course, our pressure, and of course, our learners, our officers, Maganda gumaga. Mo pay na aga. Pay na aga. Uh, yes, uh, supposed to be the one that will give you a welcome remarks or address is our Chief Cesar Hill, but uh, he's attending now a uh, conference, I think, in Southern in, in Mindanao. So that is why and dito ako ngayon. So, unang una, we are congratulating ng lahat ng mga bata na dito ng mga officer. Sigurado ako kayo ang pinili ng iyong mga kaklase dun sa schools ninyo because you possess very, very much positive qualities in life, di ba? Dahil sa inyong uh, kalidad, dahil sa qualities ninyo, dahil sa magandang galing, may karunungan, may mga values uh, uh, na positive na ginagawa ng mga bata, kaya kayong pinili ng mga kaklase ninyo, di ba? Maganda yun. Maganda yun. Sino kaya yung pipili ng mga bata na maging leader sa school? Na wala silang kakayahan, wala silang magandang kahali, di ba? So maraming mga qualities na nakikita ng mga kalasin ninyo, kaya kayo ay pinili na maging officer o presidente ng mga, ng mga schools ninyo o doon sa school ninyo. Maganda yun. Ibig sabihin, nagpagkuha na kayo ng pinto na may kwenta. Sa, pag sa pagiging president sa school, magandang pinto yan sa inyo. Di ba? Ang daming mga pinto ng mga tao, ng mga bata, na sometimes wala ang pinta. So, ginawa nyo ngayon, gumawa na kayo ng pinto na may pinta. Sana nasa isip nyo yan, na palagi ang gagawa ng mga bagay na makatagbigbigay ng magandang pangalan sa iyo, hindi lang sa inyo, sa mga magulang, sa kaibigan, sa school din ninyo. Halimbawa ko, kayo ang magpila ng president, na president dito sa sa, sa Division of Leyte. Yung magandang istorya yun. Yung sabihin na kapag gawa kayo ng lito na may kwenta. So palagi sabihin nyo sa mga klase nyo doon, sana ano, gagawa tayo ng mga kwenta na may kwenta para sa kabutihan ng lahat. Di ba maganda yun? Sana uh, maging successful ang activity na ito. Alam nyo, um, nung unang araw, sa direction, nung unang araw, palagi sinasabi, may mga mangulang sinasabi nila, anong ginagawa ng teacher nito? Anong ginagawa ng principal? Bakit daw kanyang anak? From grade 1 to grade 6, hindi natutong bumasa. Hindi natutong bumasa yung bata. Ang sinisisi ng, ng parent, yung mga teacher. Pati yung principal, nung unang araw yun. Pero ngayon, pwede namin sabihin sa school, Mrs. nagreklamo ka yung anak mo, from grade 1 to grade 6, hindi natutong bumasa. At sinasabi niyo, anong ginawa ng mga guro, anong ginawa ng teacher, o anong ginawa ng principal. Ngayon, pwede na. Sabi naman namin, kayo, Mrs. from grade 1 to grade 6, anong ginawa mo para matuto yung bata, para matuto yung anak mo. Kayo din, pwede kayo sabihin uh, ng mga teacher, ikaw ba, na bakit ganyan? From grade 1 to grade 6, hindi ka natin gumasa. Ang ibig ko sabihin dito, na ang learning man ng mga bata, ang performance ng mga bata ay hindi lang responsibilan ng guro. Lahat ito sa atin, including the parents, including the teacher, also yung mga bata. Mayroon din kayong accountability sa learnings ninyo. Huwag niyo sabihin na hindi ako natuto dahil kay mom. Hindi ako natuto dahil kay, kay magulang. Hindi. Kayo rin ay mayroon accountability and responsibility for you to learn para matuto rin kayo. Kaya sige natin, halimbawa may mayroon ng, mayroon ng klase sa school niyo, hindi matuto, hindi marunong bumasa. Sabi niya naman, tulungan niyo yung bata. Sabi niya, ikaw ang ginagawa mo ba? Kaya palagi ka na rin pinapagalitan ni ma'am dahil hindi ka na tututo. Gawin mo naman ang dapat kong gawin. Yung sinasabi ko siguro, isa sa isa sa pangso na yun ng mga bata, na dapat kayo ay tutulog din sa kaklase ninyo. Di ba? Halimbawa lang, halimbawa, sa drop out. Saan na kayo? Halimbawa sa klase ninyo, sabi ng presidente, walang mag-absent, walang mag-drop mag mag out. Tayo 
para sa isang bayan ng Garden Street. Sa ganun paraan at is pahing, pero siya na klase ninyo, sa chalas na klase ninyo, na lahat ngayon sa isang bayan ng Garden Street, in that form, in that way, nagatulong kayo ng mga bata ninyo ng Tadaap. Di ba may mga bata, bakit hindi ka pumasok? Pumasok ka naman. Bakit pa? Wala ang homework. Tulungan niyo naman ang homework. Yun. Hindi ako makapasok dahil nagagalit si ma'am. Dahil hindi na po ako bumasa. Nagagalit si sir. Tulungan niyo. Tulungan natin. That is also a way of reducing dropout ng mga mga taga-klase ninyo. Halimbawa rin, bakit niya nagabasad kahapon? Wala akong baon. Sige bukas akong bahala sa baon mo. Di ba? Hello, mga bata. You help them also. Kaya nandun ang tinatag natin na Sir Governance Ren, tulong-tulong tayo. Take note, hindi lang sa learnings ng mga bata ang sinasabi ko rito na, na Sir Governance, pati rin yung ating pag pagwawas ng school natin. Dalang nangyari ngayon, sinasabi ng mga magulang, sa inyong school na yun, hindi din sa amin. Sabihin natin, sabihin ninyo, ang school na ito ay pag-aari na ng lahat dito sa ating community. Pag-aari ng mga bata, pag-aari ng mga teacher, pag-aari ng dipit, pag-aari ng mga magulang. Bakit? Bakit ko sinasabi ito? Dahil yung iba sinasabi nila, ah, hindi, na, hindi mo sa amin yun. Kaya yung nangyayari, sinisira yung atin. Marami kong abandas lalo lalo sa high school. Takot yan ang school natin, sa school ninyo. Okay. May I see the hands of those who sign and respect the school improvement plan. Sino dito na pag-sign na? Ang school improvement plan. New, 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 sir. Ah, yes. Very good. Yes, ako. Paling, palitan ba sa information ito? Nakatipirma din kayo ng school improvement plan. Kahit hindi siya nakapagpirma, sana ang gumawa ng SIP na yun, they must have to hear ano ang hinatayin ng mga bata. Di ba maganda yun? Ano ang nilatulong ng mga bata? Example, sa mga absenteeism, example sa ating classes, anong pwede gawin, anong pwede gawin ng contribute ng mga bata to lessen, to minimize, to even eradicate ang mga absenteeism ng ating class dito. Sino ang ating class dito? Pero sigurado wala dahil mga magaganda at magaling kayo ng mga bata. Hindi maganda na kayo magpapagbisa, kayo ang mag-aano mag ng mga ating classes na yun. Instead, you will have to remind them. Wait, hindi pwede yun. Hindi pwede sa atin yung ating classes. Paano naman yung performance natin? Di ba, mga bata? Again, welcome and then good luck kung sino ang mananari nito, ha? Anyway, sabi pa nina, nagpagawa na kayo ng pinto na may kwenta sa mga school sinyo. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Ayan. Thank you, Sir Raul. Anong sabi ni Sir Raul? Leadership, guys, is service. Sa Youth Formation Division, ang uh, ating motto is Puso, uh, Galing, at Talino. You give your heart, you give your service to your school and to the community. Kahapon, we were in leadership. Yung mga school principal ninyo, tinitrain sila. And you know what? Ano ang pinakamaraming implementation project doon? Pagbasa. Kasi marami sa ating mga bata ngayon, hindi marunong bumasa. Kayo ba marunong bumasa? Ay, parang hindi lahat. Parang iba hindi. Hindi, hindi ata. Kayo ba marunong bumasa? Very good. Kasi yung iba doong mga project nila, kasama ang mga bata. Tulungan yung mga classmates na hindi marunong bumasa. Ang tawag nila doon is peer tutoring. Pwede doong body-body system. Kung service tayo, kasi tayo yung leader, sinasabi kasi ni Sir Raul kanina, uh, pwede ninyong tulungan yung mga classmates na walang pagkain. Pwedeng sabihan yung mga classmates na, nag, na nagbabanda na uy, huwag yung ibanda ng school kasi hindi na siya magandang tingnan. Kasi hindi naman siya nakakaintindi. Di ba? Because ang bata hindi naman nakakaintindi kung anong ginagawa ni teacher. So hindi na lang siya papasok sa school, maglalaro na lang siya sa labas. So as leaders, we can help them. Kahit share lang ng snacks, gaya na sabi ni Sir Raul, kahit tulong lang magbasa. Tulungan magbasa, tulungan sa math, pero huwag ipakopya. 
Di ba? Kasi kapag pinokopya, hindi rin tayo nakakatulong kasi hindi rin siya matututo. Okay? Ayun. Yun yung mga bilin, yun yung mga sinabi ni Sir Raul. So ngayon, you are very fortunate, napakaswerte natin kasi ang Lady Division, meron tayong bagong schools division superintendent. Kapag si ma'am pupunta sa school ninyo, don't forget to greet her ha. Okay, yan si Ma'am Marisa Bagan. So let us all welcome Ma'am Marisa Bagan for her inspirational message. Okay, so thank you uh, Ma'am Tessa. My morning greetings to one and all. Blessed morning to each and everyone. Maupay na aga ha, itong natanan. Maupay ba ang aga ninyo? How about your travel in coming to this venue? Okay lang. Walang nagsusuka. Walang katukahon. Kasi during those days, na maliit pa yung pangalawa kong anak, she is always the reason why we cannot travel a far place. Because every time na mag-travel kami, may stop kami, hindi pa masyadong malayo yung natatakbuhan namin, na stop na kami. Kasi, nagsusuka na siya. But now, she's already almost mag-90 na siya. No? Tapos na siyang nag-80, nag-debus siya. So, parang uh, na-master na niya yung sarili niya. But for the young kids like you, so di talaga may iwasan. So, I salute you kasi walang nagsusuka, di ba? You came from all over late As far as matanong, palungkot, then late late yun bang pinakalas natin ng municipality? Oo, yung palungkot doon sa District 4, and then yung matalong doon sa District 5. District 5 yun, di ba? Okay, Mayroon so... Mayroon nalaga po na or mukano? Mayroon nalaga po na or Of course, you are here together with your teachers, our student council advisors. So you are all 80 because you represent the 80 districts that we have. And it's being uh, multiplied into two, the teacher and the student feeder. So we are now 160. Complete ba yung mga representation natin? Mayroong wala. But nevertheless, majority of you are here with us. And today is the most awaiting awaited day in your life as a school leader because today we are going to have an election for our federated student council for the elementary level. Are you excited? Wow! And you are, all of you are interested to run for being an official, the whole division. So, you are all Qualified, meaning what will be the procedure docs? They will be they will be nominated or each of them will be given the chance to talk in front or you already have uh, pre-selected <laughs> our candidates. Ah? ah from the group you will be nominated. But they came from different areas. So you may mga most amiable, friendly, yun ang magkakagagar ngayon ng mga votes. So while, while ano, um, looking into the program that Sir Docs, no? Sir Docs is still our YFD designated. Although si Sir Docs in charge of the YFD for our uh, student council already promoted to being our cashier in the division. But for now, we're still looking no, to replace for the three uh, PDOs, no, who are poor promoted, no. Kaya uh, sa ngayon, they are still handling the YFD. Si Sir, is particularly si Sir Dogs. Okay, so you came from different um, areas, and uh, I know that you are already the district president. Am I right? And why, why looking into the program that Sir Dox was giving me this morning? Parang sa mind ko, sabi ko, you know, 
we have a very big problem in our society in terms of election days. When time uh, came for us to elect new officials, may it be in the barangay level, in the city, in the congressional, or in national, senatorial, and president, for always, ano ang magka-come up na problema? Mayroon? Mayroon ano? Ano nangyayari sa inyong mga kapaligiran? Pag-election time? Badil. Ano ginagawa ng mga tatay at nanay ninyo? Hindi lumalabas ng ba? Hindi kayo aware? Hindi kayo aware pag nag-election na? Pag nag-election na garanti? Parang wala lang? Alam nyo ba pag nag-election na o hindi? Sa inyong mga sa inyong mga lugar? Yes. Ano nangyayari pag mayroong upcoming election? Vote by May away mo no. Ano ba? Ha? Bakit nag-aaway? Di ba? Being elected is to become a public servant. Nagsiserve tayo sa publiko. Pero bakit hindi natin itong mabago-bago? Ngayon, parang nag-think ako kasi all these political leaders came from school. They studied. They, they were once students and pupils. Kaya sabi ko, gagawa ako ng memo. No? Sasabihan ko si Docs na during election time, alam naman natin na sa, pag -class, sa, pag sa classroom tayo na election, walang bigayan. Pero during sa school government council, pag nanangapat yan na yung ating mga different parties, anong ginagawa ng mga bata? Namimigay ng candies, namimigay ng bookmark, namimigay ng, ng bullpens, namimigay ng kahit anong-ano. So we are already exposing them to what we call vote buying. buying. Dapat hindi ganun yung training na ginagawa natin sa loob ng paaralan. Kailangan analo ka dahil gusto ka na mga classmates mo or ng mga schoolmates mo. Hindi kay nanalo ka dahil namimigay ka. Nandiyan pa ba? Nagbibigay pa rin? As class advisors, you know, I will be, I will be making a memorandum to this um, effect, no, na bawal mamigay. During sa inyong pagpangampanya, dapat Pwede kayong magbigay flyers lang, yung mga pangalan lang ng inyong party. It is allowed natin yung pagbibigay ng mga chocolates, candies, ball pens, or kung ano-ano pa na mga merch. Minsan, nagpapaprint pa yan ng BTS. Wow! O, siya talaga ang ibibili ko kasi binigyan ako ng paborito kong BTS. Di ba? So, hindi ka na pinili dahil mayroon kang kakayahan tulip. Napili ka kasi nabili mo siya. So, ano mangyayari pag gano'n yung mga leaders natin? Nanalo lang dahil nabibili. Anong classic services ang pwede nilang ibigay? Wala. Kasi sasabihin nila, wala akong utang sa inyo. Kasi bayad ko na kayo. In the same manner, sa paaralan, Parang wala lang. Ang gusto lang natin manalo ang president. So that during the graduation days, I can be the one who will receive the leadership award. Yung medal na yan, kasi iba yan sa mga medals na nare-receive ng mga honors. Mayroon tayong mga leadership award na mas malaki. O kung wala man tayong nare-receive galing sa ating mga senators or galing sa ating mga political leaders, ayun ang magyayari. The same medal, pero ginagawa ng paraan ng ating mga advisors. Maybe pinapalitan yung kulay ng ating, yung lay na ginagamit. Gagawing yellow, gagawing green na plain. No? Hindi yung medal na ordinary na mayroong tatlong colors ng flag. Para ma-identify siya, ma-determine natin kung ano yung mga special awards. Kasi mga special <coughs> awards siya. So ngayon guys, I know that you have all the potential, the capacity, and the capability of being a leader because you were chosen. 
nagsimula sa classroom, kasi ang mga presidente sa classroom, siya ngayon ang mga pinipili na magiging officers sa buong paaralan. Am I right? Puro kayo mga presidente. Mabuti pa kayo, sana all. Ako, gusto kong tumakbo, tumakbo pagka-presidente, pero sa kapilya na lang siguro. No? Pwede naman tayo eh. No? So, we can contribute something. So ngayon, alam ko na mga magagaling kayo. Kasi alam ko, no matter how you are buying or giving something to the rest of your schoolmates, ang mga bata pipili at pipili ng kung sino yung matalino at may puso. Matalino ka nga, isnab ka naman. Matalino ka nga, pangit naman yung gali mo, hindi ka naman, hindi mo naman pinapansin yung mga schoolmates mo. So for sure, nanalo kayo kasi you have all those characteristics, yung mga traits ninyo being a good leader. So this time, pipili na naman tayo ng new set of officers para sa buong division. Napakaganda, no? napakasarap ng feeling. Napag-uwi ko, sasabihin mo, Papa, Papa, ako yung presidente. No? Hindi ka tulad ng isang bata ba? Sabi ng isang bata, nang umuwi siya galing sa school. Tay, tay. Nag-test si ma'am. Uni, anak, kung saman? Nay, nangasiro man ang akong mga classmates, tay. Ha? Uni, ikaw? Aw, oh, palupig ba? Pag-siro po. <laughs> <laughs> no? Mabunalan ka sa ni tatay kung ako ito na balita. Pero I know that all of your parents are so proud of you. Just by being brought to this division, to this venue, by your your class advisor, no, by your student council advisor in your school, that is something to be proud of. Ang anak ko nga, secretary, lipay natin ko secretary siya. No? President, of course, president sa classroom. Secretary sa student council. And then, isang anak ko, sabi niya, mami, tatakbo ako president. Sabi ko sa kanya, sige, kung tatakbo ka gang, Kailangan ready ka ha? Kasi yung pagtakbo-takbo na yan, dalawa lang yung magyayari dyan. Kasi that's win or lose. It's like a game. So anong tingin mo? Sure ka yan na ikaw yung pipiliin pagka-presidente? Kasi mga transferis lang kayo dyan. Mga transferi lang sila doon. Ay, anyway, senior ha yung isa. So transferi lang yung junior ko. So secretary na yung kapatid niya. So kaya siya, sabi niya, gusto niya mag-presidente. Pero kalaunan, sabi niya, ah, masekretary lang din ako, pareha kay Juris. <laughs> it's good na nanalo. Kasi yung pangalawang anak ko na yan, pag sumasali, pag matalo, umiiyak isang buwan. <laughs> kaya lang po problema ako. Yan yung anak ko na sumasali ng mga madiling pajet. Kaya sabi ko sa kanya, I will support you. Kasi gusto natin, di ba, as parents, gusto natin mga masasaya ang ating mga anak. Mga supportive ba yung mga papa at mama ninyo? Oo, sa so pag-send pa lang nila sa paaralan, it's already a big sacrifice on the part of the parents. Just to see you having a good education. No, yung mga pambao natin. No, dapat grateful kayo sa mga bata, ha? sa mga parents ninyo. Yung mga anak ko, sabi ko sa kanila, I will support you kung saan kayo masaya. Pero dapat, kung ano man yung magiging consequence ng mga pinagsasalihan ninyo, huwag naman kayong umiyak kasi nagpasali na kami para tayo maging masaya. E ngayon, pag hindi kayo manalo, hindi na tayo naging masaya kasi iyak kayo nang iyak. Na, ano naman ini, uy? Sa sunod, huwag nang sumali. Or maybe, pag hindi ka pa talaga ready, doon ka na lang sa passion-passion, huwag ka mo na sumali sa pageant kasi hindi ka pahinog. No? Kailangan mo pang ma-expose. Yung mga Miss Universe na yan, ilang beses na yan na natalo backstage. Kaya huwag kang dapat umiyak. So tayo, kung ano yung mga panag sa salihan natin, i-prepare natin yung sarili natin to the best that we can. Pero kung ano man yung mangyari, dapat grateful pa rin tayo. Ganyan ako. Nacha-challenge ako. Ibigay ko ang lahat. Kung ano man yung mangyari, sasabihin ko, eh, yun ang pinaka-best na naibigay ko. At least, hindi ako pabayang sa sarili ko. So, dapat ganun ang pag-iisip ng ating mga kabataan. So, this time, you will be, um, you 
kung saan sila i-nominate. You will be nominated. Uy, ready na yung iba, oh. Tingnan mo. Yung iba hindi ready dahil ang kundi ni Nicole. O ready na si Nicole. Paano kayo i-nominate kung wala kayong pangalan? O tanawa siya ko. Di ba hindi naman kayo magkakilala? Baka ako ang manalo dito. Kasi ako lang ang kilala ng lahat. Magkakilala ba kayo lahat? Hindi. Hindi. O ilagay nyo yung mga name tag nyo. Ilagay para manuminit kayo ng inyong mga kapwa presidente. Dapat, kung ako ang advisor nito, kanina pa habang hindi pa nagsisimula, gaganyanin ko ang aking, ang aking bata, magpasupaso ni. Eh. Yan mga ito, mag-happy ko sa table. Hi! Kilala <laughs> ng atong manok. Di ba? Oo. Oh, so ganyan ang mga support ng ating mga advisor. But anyway, sana mag mabigyan sila looks ng chance to talk. Kahit two lines lang, bawat isa. Maingon na, I am Mitch Jewel Roa and I am a relative of President Rodrigo <laughs> Duterte. Roa Duterte. Parang nga nun. Parang, uy, sa President ni pala ito. So, parang, mayroon naman. Basta, wala lang bili-bili. No? Mayroon na bang nangangampanya dyan? Ha? Baka ang, ang ating snacks ay pinamigay na natin para lang masarap ito gan, ha? Oo. So, I know that hindi kayo magkakakilala. Pero, mama na yung ino, do not judge the book by its cover. Yes. Yung sa akong taman ay na, ma-judge you din nato by the cover. Kay, di man ta magkakilala. No? So, the way you talk, the way you present your ideas, how you help, siguro bigyan sila ng chance, no, na magkapagsalita, kahit mga limang sentences lang. Anong ginagawa ninyo sa mga paaralan ninyo? Mayroon ba kayong na-contribute? So that the rest will know? Dapat, after election, sabi, di ba, sabi kanina ni Sir Raul, why, the purpose why we are having the student council is because of that, what we call it the policy statement, shared governance. It doesn't mean na ang papikinggan lang doon sa loob ng paaralan ay ang principal lang. It doesn't mean na yung guru lang. It doesn't mean na mga bata lang din or mga nanay lang. Dapat lahat na inyong mga issues and concerns will be discussed. Ano yung mga needs ninyo? And you represent the student body. Kayo ang presidente, magmarites ka. Dapat sa isang presidente ay magaling na marites. Alam nyo, ang pagkamarites, hindi yan negative sa, sa lahat ng panahon. Pag as president, marites ka by gathering data. Pupunta ka sa mga classrooms, makinig ka sa mga usap-usapan ng mga bata, yung sinasabi ng mga kanang, mga, mga, mga schoolmates mo na sana meron tayong pala, la, pa, playground. Sana mayroon tayong mga ganito. So, pakinggan mo yan. Sana si ma'am ay hindi na mali. Sana si ma'am ay hindi masyadong marami ang assignment na ibibigay. Yan ay trabaho ng mga officers. Pakinggan nyo yung mga kabataan at i-raise nyo yan. Either you will conduct your own meeting to, to gather issues and concerns. May nagyayari ba na ganun sa mga paralan? Wala no. Because you are very dependent to your class advisor. So as president, dapat sasabihan mo yung class advisor mo na, Ma'am, pwede ba akong mag-conduct ng meeting, Ma'am, after class hours, kahit 30 minutes? Or during sa inyong mga break, mga recess, noon time, iyon na, mga maritis ka. Pag mayroong mga bata doon na sinasabi, pag-grabe man sa namo advisor, uy, mura mag si Hitler. <laughs> No, kung baga masyadong istrita, dapat tignan mo yan kasi you're, you're, that's your obligation as an officer. You have to raise your voice so that our teachers may know. Ang akong anak na senior high, one time, I was in Subic. Tumawag, mami, may time ka? Sabi ko sa kanya, mo, sa man lang, kasi ana na gani ang tenor, mami, may time ka? Pwede ka tawag? Okay, narasad ni problema. Kasi they are in Cebu eh. So, lumabas ako kasi walang, walang signal. Kung sa man, B, 
Mami, mo muundam na ko sa akong pagkasekretary, sa akong pagka-officer. Nga naman, kay miya naman ang mga teachers nga mura ko nung kong maistra. Over na ko nung kayo ko, mura daw ko nung kong maistra. Lupig pa ko nung ako'y maistra. Sabi ko sa kanya, sino naman ang nagsabi sa inyo yan? Ang aking teacher. Iyan na sa teacher. Eh, ko alam. Kaya, pero bakit nila nasabi yan? Kasi nga ako yung nagre-raise ng mga concerns ng mga kapwa students ko. Kaya ka na nga kung anak na ikasikan, that's my pinakasyay na ako. Kaya nga pinasamahan ko sa Cebu, may takot ako na mag-isa siya. Nagubo, nag-iba. Very vocal. Kung anong nasa heart at isip niya, pinapalabas niya. At sa ka talaga, na o'y leader yun siya. Hindi ko lang puro bitong kong maestra lang. Mga to siya sa faculty room, nakakot. Ang ako, mga kot ba? So kaya yung mga isudyante, minsan, nagsisip, Good morning, ma'am. Mami, good morning ko din sa mga isudyante. Kung kaalangan ka mag-kot-kot ka man. Nako ka pa mampot sa maestra. Kung niya kimatangkad. Niya, ang kaya ba yun siya mag-kot? So, na para kang teacher. Iyon na, sabi ko sa kaya, sige, sige. Ano man, ako ang tatawag or ikaw ang makipag-usap. Yun man na sinasabi ko kagad sa aking mga anak, di ba? Pwede nga mag-react ko. Uh, kung kausapin ko, Mami, anong sasabihin ko? Sabihan mo na itong pagka-officer, add-on lang na nimo. <coughs> Hindi yan ang reason bakit pinapag-aral kita dyan. Pinapag-aral kita dyan para matuto ka. So meaning, additional work na nimo. Na nakakaano yan, nakakapito sa, tra sa trabaho mo as a student. So ngayon, mas mabuti, ano mo yan? I-surrender mo ang iyong pagkasekretary. Ah, sige mami, sige may ako nalang makipag-usap. So natuloy man. Sabi ko, minsan, ang nagtitrigger, teacher din. Kasi nagtanungin ko, sino bang nagsabi? Teacher din yan. So minsan kasi, nami-misinterpret pag ang bata ay masyadong proactive. Pero that's their role talaga. We need to encourage them to raise their voices, to express what's in their minds and in their hearts. <clears throat> hindi man sab hindi ibig sabihin na hindi kayo dapat matakot sa mga guru ninyo. No, there must be respect and you have really to obey all our guidelines. But you can tell your teacher na, ma'am, can we have something like this so that we can gather on the issues and concerns? Because you cannot help the student three. Kung wala lang after election, wala lang. Di ano ginagawa ng ating mga mga officers after election? Mayroon pa kayong activity na ginaganda? Anong klaseng activity? Nagpa-project kayo? Gumagawa kayo ng mga trash can? Wala. Yung ano ba? Student body 2022-2023. Or gumagawa kayo ng mga bulletin board? Ma'am, kami ang gagawa ng bulletin board ngayon. Yung monthly natin na activity. So, dapat very active. Ma-feel natin yung presence ng ating mga estudyante. Because that's one way of preparing you to become our future leaders. Kasi kung ganun, doon pa lang sa school, nagugot buying na, then after the election, wala lang ginagawa. Pagdating sa panahon na kayo na maging mayor, magiging barangay chairman, ganun lang din ang gagawin. Pagkauman ng election, wala lang. Mura lang wala. So while you are still in school, dapat alam ninyo kung ano yung mga rules and responsibilities ninyo. So as advisors and ato mga teachers, this is not just for being, for having set of officers. This is preparing them to become excellent leaders in the future. So dapat i-guide natin sila. So yung mga presidente, kung saan naman ang tawago na ito? Ang president naman, gang, ano ang, ang inyong plano ka? Do you have a plan for this school year? Do you have a plan to conduct a party? O, oh, talagod ko eh. <laughs> Na may graduation ball ang mga grade 6? Wala. Dito na sa high school, no? Pero, there are so many factors that we need to consider. Kasi, pag maganda, nagkaganda tayo ng activity, mali ba yan na? And then, our parents, hindi pa rin pareho yung estado sa buhay nila. Kaya, we need also to partner. Pwede man mo mag-partner. If you, if you are going to 
plan for an activity, you can, ang kita ng mga teachers, hindi na pwede magsulisit. But the student body can. Nagkakuha mo? Wala pa mong kasuhayan na, no? Yung atong student body will magsulisit for the school. They will conduct an activity and they will partner with the rest of the katong mga alumni na mga successful na. Wala pa mong kasuhayan na. I-activate ang atong mga presidente, ang atong mga officials. In that way, ma-feel na ito ang presence ang atong mga, mga, atong mga officers. Diyan sila mismo ba? Train na sila. No? Di lang kay ang pagka-officer just to attend trainings, to be elected, to campaign. Na pag-campaign mo, pag-iboto niyo ako, mga guwapa mo. <laughs> Pero pag hindi niyo ako iboto, mga pangit kayo. Parang gano'n na pagkapanampanya. Okay? So, this time, I will not take long. Hindi na ako ganahan ako magsigistorya ninyo ba? Pero, mukusta ko kay... Ganahan ba mo na ma-hurt mo sa group? You like it? Iana na lang na ito. Gikan dito. Pabinawa ha? Name? Pwede ba, dogs? Pwede, dogs? Sige lang, may, 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 may lunch mo. Anaman mo'y lunch. Oh. So, gikan dito. Mustate mo sa inyong name. No? Wala man ta. Dili man ta. Ang kanakang language, as long as you can relay the message and you are being understood. Ha? Okay lang na. Kaya mag-understand man ta o saksak sinagol, no? Cebuano, Winaray, Tagalog, English. So, whatever language na you are comfortable to use, to express your ideas and thoughts, no? Okay lang na. So, of course, you state your name and what school uh, are you enrolled and what district, no? What school you came from. And then, pwede ninyo i-share kung ano yung mga nagagawa na ninyo sa inyong paaralan. Pero yung walang may share, sabihin, name na lang at saka school. Okay ba? Armanali. So, atong po ano? Atong test Gusto ko maminaw, bi? Ganahan ko maminaw, di anay ko mula ka. Anyway, my next next schedule is sa launa. I can, I can <laughs> sign <laughs> documents here. I want to, I want really to listen to you guys. <laughs> Ang ako lagi mga anak, mga anak ba, ba, liwan ka ako. No, I want to listen from our officers. O niya, sige na, ang mga pangalan. Ibutan na na, di lagi mo ma, di lagi mo manuminit, huwag mo inaan. Advisors, butang ikaw mga confidence. 
It may also affect their day-to-day -day living and studies. I encourage each and every one of you student leaders to help me promote this advocacy in your own campuses. If you would give me the chance to lead you this SELG Federation, we shall stand and unite to help each other learn each other learn in a much more safe and friendly environment for our fellow students in each campus. Thank you. <laughs> My due respect to our school's division superintendent, Ma'am Marisa Magan, our division, our, our school's division self coordinator, Sir Eudoxia C. Ocampos, our self advisors of all schools, fellow such presidents, to you all a pleasant morning. I am Luis Lira D. Lampayan, the newly elected such president of Palo 3 District. I am 11 years old, a grateful pupil of Ma'am Maria Teresa S. Nomio. I am a consistent honor since kinder. I am an active leader in our school. If elected, I'll do my best to lead my co-officers in all undertakings we will have. We'll work as one for the good of, the, of everyone. As a student leader, my aim is to strengthen the deaf and core values. Maka Diyos, maka tao, makakalikasan, at makabansa. So, don't hesitate to vote me. Remember, I'm Luis Lira D. Lampayan of Palo 3 District. Thank you. <laughs> to the respected division personnel, respected teachers, my good SELG president, good morning. My name is Jonas Bilaude, the, the Supreme Elementary Learning Government President of San Miguel District. I will do the best of my ability. <laughs> my ability to be a good leader and a good model of our fellow learners and I will promise to give priorities of, of the problem of our cool learners. I will be the lead example in developing the four values. Makatao, makabansa, makajos, makakalikasan. I will be the prime mover of the Project Watch in our district. Kung tataga na po hinusa nga higayon, nga baging usa nga opisyal, a division, SELG, ang akong mga tingala, di rila ha akong district, may papakita, kundi habugos nga division. Ginuotro ko, Jonas Bilaw, ni Damo nga Salag.
of Supreme Learners Government of Santa Fe District. For the school year 2023-2024. Thank you and mabuhay. Mabuhay ka. Sangat gusto. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Jima Teyae Animos, a grade 5 learner of Binongto Central School, Alang Alam 2 District, elected as SPG President of Alang Alam 2 District. I do believe the saying that the leader's job isn't to have all the ideas, it's to make sure all heard and that the best one wins. Once again, this is Jima Teyae Animos. Thank you. All right, let's give them a big round of applause for the Area 1 candidates. Then we call on this Area 2A. This one in line, come on. Three presidents, in our line here, please. <coughs> so guys, please take note, ha? Para later, alam nyo na kung sinyo inodominate nyo. Princess, can you start? Ladies and gentlemen, the district presidents of Area 2A. Good morning, everyone. I am Princess Nelly Fernandez. I am 11 years old, the grade 5 pupil of Tunga Central School. I am the newly elected president of Tunga District. Thank you. Thank you. 
Mafia Jarvis Universe. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, especially to my fellow president of the different district of Lady Division. I'm Mazarin Lemondadero, a grade 5 learner of Pastrana Central School, representing Pastrana District. I'm incredibly appreciative of everyone who has put their faith in me to lead and represent our district as well as the Division Federated SELG elections. If given the opportunity to be one of the SELG officers, I pledge to be open and truthful to try my best to do my duties and responsibility as an officer. Thank you and God bless us all. Good morning everyone, I am Jan Reisi Isayas, the newly 
elected president of the La Paz One District. Thank you. Hello everyone, good morning. I am Stephen Isaiah Tumada, honored to represent the Longwest District for the Division Election of SELG or Supreme Elementary Learner Government. I am dedicated to make positive impact on our school community. With five years in Allegra Elementary School, I have learned the odds and ends and the problems my schoolmates faces on a daily basis. If selected, I promise that I will hear out your opinions before making any decisions. And together, we will make sure that our voices will be heard to help our school community better. By working together, we will promote quality learning for clean and green environment, which I believe the biggest impact that we can make as young learners of our community. Thank you. Iba talaga si si advisor. Mahaba. A pleasant morning to all SELG advisors and to my fellow SELG officers of Division of Leyte. According to John Quincy Adams, that if your action inspire others to learn, to dream more, to learn more, to do more, and to become more, you are a leader. I am Princess Jewel V. Avelino, a grateful learner of Olita Central School, Unita Leite, a newly elected district SELG president of Unita District. Please vote for me because I'm a God-fearing, responsible, and a, and a dedicated learner. for this coming school year 2023 to 2024. Let me read this quote to you. Leadership is about vision and responsibility, not a position or power. Yes, it's true. Being a leader is a great privilege, but it also means a great responsibilities. If given a chance to be your next SELG president, I will make sure to listen to all of your voices and act on your feedback. I will work with my fellow officers to ensure that everyone's ideas can be heard and taken into consideration. And I assure you that I will do everything in my capabilities to work on my responsibilities and I promise that I will take serious of this task. With this, I humbly ask for your vote and I promise to be a responsible and dedicated leader. Thank you and God bless us all. about 
about myself. I am a consistent honor student and I take great pride in my academic achievements. But being a leader, it's not just about grades, it's about having a passion of making a difference and inspiring others. So my fellow students, let us unite and work hard in hand in hand to create a brighter future for ourselves and for the generation to come on election day. I can be request that you cast your vote for Ella General, the candidate who is passionately dedicated and ready to lead. Together we can make a difference. Thank you and may we have a fantastic and inspiring day ahead. All right, give them a big hand for Area 2B candidates. This time we call on Area 3. Area 3 presidents, please stand and form your line. Okay, presenting the presidents from Area 3. Successful people are not gifted. They just work hard and succeed on purpose. Good morning, everyone. I am Claudia Nicole J. Loche, grade 5 from Villaban Art District. I firmly believe that failure is not the opposite of success. It is part of success. That is why if you are going to elect me in any position, I may not be able to promise you all I will not fail. However, I will do my best to prove myself that I am worthy in the position. Once again, good morning and God bless us all. Good morning, everyone. My name is Alisa Vidiel I. Matthews. I am 11 years old. I live in Barangay, Amanilia, Kalubi Ande. A grade 5 learner of Usun Elementary School, Kalubi South District. Last June 19, 2023, I won a Supreme Elementary Learner Government of our district. I am here today to represent the Colombian South District and to exercise my right to vote and play an active role in shaping our future as learners. I believe in the power of democracy and its ability to bring positive change to our lives. If I am given a chance to be nominated, I am willing to grab the opportunity. Thank you. Good morning, teachers. Good morning, my co-SELG officers, presidents. I am Lenny Valerie and Vibora from Villaba South Central School of Villaba South District. I am elected as newly SELG president of our district. The reason for running an officer in federated SELG is the opportunity to learn leadership skills at a young age. Thank you and God bless all. Good morning, Lady Division. I am Renz Gabriel M. Apurador, 11 years old from San Isidro Central School. And I am the president of the San Isidro One District Federated Officials. And I am active, I am diligent, and I am willing to lead. And I believe that he who cannot be a good follower cannot be a good leader. Once again, good morning. Dear fellow students, respected teachers, esteemed mentors, good morning. Today, I'm humbled to stand before you as a candidate for the Supreme Elementary Learner Government in this division. Together, let us embark on a journey of positive change and forge a remarkable path for our school community. I want to begin by assuring you my unwavering dedication and willingness to listen. Your concerns matter. I promise to be a responsive leader who will work tirelessly to address them. The My foremost aim is to cultivate a sense of inclusivity and support within our school. Each one of you seems to be heard, valued, regardless of your backgrounds or beliefs. 
let's create a community where every learner's voice is heard, valued regardless of their background. As candidates for the districts, uh, as the candidates for the divisions, SDEIG, have the opportunity to make a lasting impact. Let's build, uh, let's build a community where every learner's voice is heard, fostering collaboration and respect. I'm committed to expanding our divisions' ex extracurricular offerings, ensuring diverse clubs and events that cater to all interests. Effective communication will be my priority, establishing open dialogue platforms for your ideas and suggestions. Together, we can transform our divisions as the LG into a catalyst for unity, progress, and empowerment. Let's shape a brighter future for our division. In line with our goals, I firmly believe that cleanliness in our school is of utmost importance. Ang Kalimpia says, Kalahan maoy among unang kiatubang. Cleanliness in the school as our first challenge will be our guiding motto. By promoting cleanliness, we create a conducive learning environment that enhances our overall well-being and academic success. Together, let's work towards a division where every learner thrives. This is Zaid Xavier G. Pinindalian, the Bangal North District SE of the Bangal North District SELG President. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Larami Embelapel, the SELG President of San Isidro 2 District. I'm 11 years old, a grade 5 pupil. Thank you and God bless all. Good morning, everyone. I am Eliza Joy T. Bayo of Danas Elementary School, a new selected ASALG president of Lady One District. I, I always believe that leadership is an action, not only a position. Please vote me in any position. I will be a nominated. Thank you. Leadership is an action, not a position. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Standing here in front of you is a boy with a goal, to lead, to help, and to serve. My name is Dwayne Claus Maraca Puliana, a grade 5 learner. I am the newly elected District Federation Supreme Elementary Learner Government President of Lady 2. Thank you so much. Okay, this is all called on area four. The president of area four, please fall in line. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the district president of area four. Ability is what you're capable of. Motivation determines what you do. Attitude determines how well you do it. Good morning, everyone. My name is Julian G. Piano, a grade 5 pupil and SELG president of Alguera South District, Alguera Lake. I'm 11 years of age, and with my great experience and passion, I believe I can be a great leader. Isabel Wan District. 
and I'm standing in front of you to offer my services, to bring the voice of the whole studentry, and to promote our schools. For I believe that a great leader's courage to fulfill his vision is express my passion to all of you. Please vote wisely and thank you. Convinced in voting for me. 
I am going to save your Jimon was, and I'm 11 years old. And I am the newly elected Federated District. District Federated. <laughs> I am the newly elected District Federated President of a Buyabisa District. For me, being a leader is not about the position or the title, but it is about being responsibility, action, an example which can make a difference. So if you give me a chance, I will work hard with devotion and determination. And I will try my best and work for excellence. As a leader, I also believe in working as a team. A team is like a tool set. Not one tool can do all the jobs, but together it can. So let's, our, so let's join our hands together to work with team spirit. Your vote for me is a vote for performance and team working. Together we can excel, together we can succeed, and together we will. Once again, this is Golden Juice Savior, Jima Wallace, ready to lead and serve. Thanks for listening, and I hope you vote for me. Thank you. According to Simon Sinek, leadership is, about, is not about the next election, it's about the next generation. To all administrators, SELG advisors, my co-SELG presidents, good morning. My name is Kirk Jarrell Kaimpoy Navarez, Federated President from Haplag 2 District. Have a blessed day and mabuhay! Okay, that was the District President of Area 5A. Finally, let us move to Area 5B. Sir Dogs. Okay. Okay, may we request the district presidents from Area 5B to please fall in line. Okay. So do we Okay. Let's start with Okay, from Hilomos North. Good morning to each and everyone, especially to our gorgeous and intelligent schools division superintendent, Dr. Marisa Ismagan. Good morning, ma'am. To our two competent assistant schools division superintendent of Division of Lete, Dr. Henrietta T. Manabanan and Dr. Roberto E. Magaliman. Good morning, ma'am and sir. To the different education program specialist of Division of Lete, Good morning, ma'am and sir. To the Division of Formation Coordinator, Mr. Yodosho C. Ocampos. Good morning, sir. To the different PhDs and the ICs of different district. Good morning, ma'am and sir. To the different ECLG coordinators and advisors. Good morning, ma'am and sir. To the ECLG president of different district. Once again, good morning. I am Edwina May M. Gariello. Janiola elected district is the LG president of Hilomos North District, Hilomos Tete. I am born with honor and privilege because of the support which our school pupils have given to me. For maybe they are confident enough for my position. As what Dr. Husserl said, that the youth is a hope of our fatherland. I, as ALG president, is very much willing to prove that I am as such. I believe that even the time of hindrances, I can still pursue my dreams to extend help and support the different programs and projects for my district and the entire division of Lepe. As a leader of the youth, I must also do my best for the benefit of the school children by possessing good characteristics. And being a good leader, I must also be a good follower and a good servant to all. I am a co-planner in my school and the entire district as far as program and projects concerned, which we represent with. Though our school is located in the far flag ground, guys, we already start to develop and improve more the different aspects as far as learning and academic performance is concerned especially that we have our very own school head now that will always attend in all our needs. 
it is my pleasure to extend and share best practices in our school and district. To everyone, if you allow me to have a position, the Division Federated SALG. If I am fortunate to lead Division Federated SALG, I am willing to do my best and my ability for the common good all. Once again, I am Edwina May M. Galieto, a servant and a leader of the future generation. Thank you and mabuhay tayo mga future young leader. They say always aim for the moon. Even if you miss, you land among the stars. A pleasant morning greeting to my fellow student leaders, to the ever active teachers and ever dynamic school heads. Now standing here in front of you is Gabe Aliana G. Bullard, the second consecutive year district president of the Blue West District. If somebody would ask me if there was one thing you could change about our schools, what would it be? If elected, I'll continue to fight for anti-bullying, transparency, and equality for our student body. I'll create a channel of student representation on our division school board, with those in charge of, the ma of managing our school but not giving the students' voices a chance to be heard. Once again, I am Kate Aliana G. Bullinar. It was a pleasure to be speaking in front of you, of you right now. Thank you and padayan sa pangandoy. Nice to meet you all. What you have, no? your potential to become a leader, to become the president of our Division Federation SMG. So guys, uh, so please, this time around, um, siguro meron na kayong mapili ano, in your mind, you, you have already chosen somebody to represent. Now, ito yung mechanics natin. As per 10 times, you, have 60, you are 66 in all. 66 po kayo lahat. Then, this time around, we think na para fair and square. Ang 
Hello guys, mom is from Babat Moon. This is mom. Isa ka na iyahang yung count ni Maha, oy? Seryoso kayo siya sa iyahang pagkuan, calculate ka sa iyahang pagkuan. Adi si mom from Lady Lady. Hi mom. Malapit na kami. Tapos sama siguro ni Amung po ano yung gudin? Amung orientation? Sinesera available siyaan at dito si Ma'am ang kanyang hinahanap. Basta mapasaya siya. Yung ano, yung malaki. Thank you. 
front. Five. Okay, join us in front. Yeah. Na kompleto na. Na walang luha na tumulo. Ladies and gentlemen, our division federated STLG officers and board of directors. Let us give them a hand of applause as we agree. Congratulations din sa mga teacher advisor kasi kayo din, you will also compose the advisors group. Okay? Sir Docs will give you your panunumpak sa panunumpak sa katungkulan.
before the closing video.